Okay. All right. So basically, what we're gonna do is try and remember ten years of our existence as, as a band, as best as we can, and it will be full of ups and downs <laughs> and things that we get upset about internally. <laughs> But also things we're really happy about. Mm -hmm. Let's all start with our names and our turn-ons and (laughs) (laughs) turn-offs. All right. I think to discuss our whole band's career, we need to set the preface that this is just what we remember. We don't remember much. We're not (laughs) guaranteeing that we remember it all. But what we do remember is... I'm also not even saying that some of this happened. And what I can confirm (laughs) is in 2011, I don't even come into the band until halfway through. So I'm going to let you take it. From the get go. Yeah, what do you remember? Actually, Luke should take it from the get go. You were the get go man. Okay, so it all began. <laughs> How did it begin? I think all actually, right, I'll, honestly, right, it might be. Cause it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I think you would have a, a clearer picture because I think you I saw did. it slightly from the schoolyard and then. I did. It was looking in from the outside. It was it was different. Um, I'd hit the big time. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> and you wanted a piece. <laughs> I mean, it's fine to put it that way. So, <laughs> if that's what happened. So when, when we were, uh, when we were really mature men um, of the of the ripe age of uh, fourteen, um, I think maybe fifteen at this point. No, still fourteen. I think. Um, you know, Luke had started posting um, videos on YouTube, and uh, you know, you had this, you had this beautiful blue acoustic. <laughs> um, you had these fantastic purple speakers. That, that uh pink that pink pink they were pink yeah okay. fan. he had this, <laughs> this uh beautiful pink speakers that sat behind you um in every video that you would make on on Liz Hemming's iMac um mm-hmm. and I just remember you know as 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 I was looking at you and I was looking at you making videos and you singing I was like shouldn't be doing this without me it's not fair mm-hmm. you can't you you can't go this far without me Mm-hmm. I was like you, you, and and then you know I really, I really had a great chance of at uh at you know making Luke feel like he was nothing without me, um which was that's great. At first yeah. he was the manager. Yeah, which was really great at first. <laughs> really, good, really strengthened our relationship. <laughs> um, you know, and but no, I, you were you were posting videos on YouTube, um and they were great, man. Don't get me wrong. Hey, thanks. They were awesome. Very um, husky, very husky voice. Yeah, going you, on. you were still kind of coming into uh, coming into your 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 voice. You can say it. Um, no, they were they were dope. They were dope, and and I just remembered as you were as as people were looking at your videos online, I had known that 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 you know we'd always talked about starting a band or whatever, and then we were like, this is kind of a cool opportunity to do something cool, and um and then I think we started doing covers together, mm-hmm. um which to be fair I made them much worse. I'm <laughs> I, I, I'm totally aware. Absolutely, oh, definitely. you know, you know, part of what I what I do best is I'm very self aware. It says we, here you did a Blink One Eighty Two cover. We did. I miss you, and that was when I again playing bongos. Again, I know terrible ideas mm-hmm. all round, but that's why you love me, of course. Oh yeah. So was this this Blink cover was not? This was with a there's a third component in this cover, I believe. That was, I believe, Mister Hood. Um, and that, oh yes, no, yeah, and I saw you guys from the outside. I'm like, <laughs> these guys shouldn't have made it this far without me. So I've come in, and you've turned around in music class, and I had my long, luscious, golden brown hair flowing. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I don't think you can change the story like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was, oh, okay, it was, okay, yeah, I had a pretty shitty haircut. You had a little time. fuzzy, um, yeah. and you turned around, and I'm pretty sure it was pretty simple. You just said you want you want to make a band with me and Luke. I was like, hey, you want to join? Yeah. And we were like, yeah, sure. But then there was the awkward conversation about 24 hours later where we were like, well, we can't all play guitar. No, we can't. Oh, I do remember this. Yes. This is a good This is a good one. Yeah. So we're in uh, woodwork class. I think it's called woodshop here. It was woodwork. <laughs> woodshop. <laughs> we were in the woodshop. And I was, I was like very awful at it, like surprisingly bad at putting things I can't build anything at work, um, yeah. yeah as you can tell from my very masculine appearance it's very surprising to a lot of people that I'm not a very good builder um did not run in the family and I remember we're sitting down with um oh this is quite offensive to you Cal so but um, you know you were 14 so no it's not I, I shred base now yeah so no, okay cool I'm cool. ended up no, in a good is, place no I agree this is really offensive <laughs> <laughs> sorry man okay should, you want me to leave <laughs> yeah if you should leave. I leave <laughs> And we're in woodwork and we're, you know, at the table, we probably like finished our, I don't know, or not, I don't know why we were just sitting out there on our own, but Hayden, our friend at school, Mm. he's like a tall athletic type Can you keep explaining him so we can draw an animation of him? Hayden, uh, he had like 
babyish cheeks. Kind of it's very almost chipmunkish. Yeah, yeah but like but handsome. Not. Caleb was more of the chipmunk, I think. Okay, his yeah. cheeks were very like bulbous were, for some reason. Yeah, They're rosy as well. Yeah, a nice, 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 <laughs> nice, nice short, nice short little blonde haircut. It's yeah, good, good man. And uh, we were sitting down, and we we're talking about somehow we got on the topic of like who's gonna, yeah. you know, what are we gonna do in the band? We're like, all right, let's call the band. F- uh, 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 reverse. Oh yeah, we were stuck, stuck in, reverse in reverse at this stuck point. Stuck in reverse, yeah. And as was every band in <laughs> in the local Sydney community. Yeah. And bulbous cheeks, <laughs> bulbous cheeks. Hayden McKinnon goes, um, well, we'll, you know, look out, Jesus Christ, who's gonna play? You know, who's gonna play bass? Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, we don't know yet. You know, we weren't ready for this conversation. First band conflict. Yeah. Oh wow, this is stuck awkward. in reverses, downfall. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Already yeah. going in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> My first question was, what, what, what is bass? <laughs> <laughs> that was Gallus. Uh, he said, who, well, who's, who's the worst at guitar? Okay. And mm-hmm. I should have left. <laughs> <laughs> I should have left. Me. And then and we, it, we look over at Callum, and and you know, a single tear falls from his eye, and he goes, guys. I'll take this one. <laughs> <laughs> take the fall. Uh, to be fair, I was I was the worst. But Wor- yeah, worst isn't maybe the right. Maybe not as practiced yet. Not as practiced. <laughs> not as nimble. <laughs> You're very good at acoustic, but not Thanks, as good. Man. Not as not good on the as electric. Practiced. <laughs> yeah. You no, sh- but then yeah. I was like, all right, well, this is my time to shine and as the, as the only bassist in the band. <laughs> and that was <laughs> that's very rare in a band. It's, it is rare. That's a great origin story. For Callum Hood, it's it's bordering on villain origin story, <laughs> almost. It's like a lot. <laughs> it still could be. <laughs> it's very villain. It is villain origin. It is bordering on it. Um, and then, <laughs> um, and, then and then after that, um, you know, we had talked about, you know, how do we get a little more serious as a band? Um, you know, and we looked at each other. What do bands do? Uh, and you know, we all collectively decided that we have no fucking idea. Um, <laughs> and and then we decided- <laughs> the band went on hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, I think uh, we were like, you know, what could be g- great is a drummer um, to make music. Yeah. Um, and then we were like, you know what? Fuck it, let's dive in. And we reached out on Facebook and we started to book a gig. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yeah, we how like, did this gig happen? Because I honestly have no idea. Someone had reached out and said that there's an opportunity for us to play a gig um, in a cinema. Oh my god, the gig before the gig? That and and oh. <clears throat> this was the the, oh my god. the pre-gig, I the, the warm-up this. gig. And um we were like, okay, well, I'm sure, you know, it'll be massive, you know. What do we have on YouTube? 10,000 subscribers. That's massive. Um 10,000 people there were off of the 10,000 people. Usually you know, how it works. Perfect. Um, so yeah, we went to the cinema, and we were gonna play. And then we said, "Cool." We rehearsed um, the day before. Callum said, "Hey guys, I can't come. I got <laughs> soccer practice." I did though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking villain shit right there. Yeah, <laughs> you were already hoping for the downfall from the beginning. What did we play at that gig? Um, we played "Panic at the Disco," Mona Lisa. Huh? It's good. We played. Um, I would think the main would be on there somewhere, maybe. I remember. Yeah. I remember practicing on the train with our acoustics. Yeah. Um, a Mayday Parade song, mm-hmm. "Kids in Love" or something. Something I really like. Not not their big song. Yeah. Yeah. Like we played deep cuts, but that was okay. Yeah. You know? That's why people <laughs> gravitated towards us. They yeah. want. <laughs> it showed that you know we were we were fans of music. Um, and then after that was a complete fucking train wreck. Um, but to be fair, f- people showed up. They listened. My hair was down to my fucking chin, and I didn't look up once. It was great. Yeah, we great, hit the straightener that day. Great learning experience. How many people were there? I don't remember. I honestly don't know. I think know. maybe about 20. I, f- I feel like there were, yeah. Maybe 20, which is pretty good. So we've it's been lying. It's not bad. It's good. Yeah. We don't talk about this one ever. Well, because it didn't really count. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. It didn't really count. It was just like m- me and you showing up. At a cinema with two acoustic guitars. And then after that, we were like, that went so great. Uh, let's book a real gig. How did we get the gig at... Um, uh, again, f- Facebook. Um, I forget his name. Um, yeah, he messaged me and he was like, yeah, dude. Um, since the cinema gig went so great, um, you want to <laughs> you wanna, you wanna play at the Annandale? Um, yeah, he was like, you want to play at the Annandale? And That's a big gig. Yeah, and obviously before 
messaging you guys back, um, I had accepted. <laughs> of course, you know I knew it was right for Fuck the you. band. True um, manager style. And then uh, after that, we had realized, okay, let's stop playing, and we got out the electric guitars and and got a bass for you. It yeah. said, "I love Mutt." Um, nice little. Um, nice little piece of wood. <laughs> well, that I think was. that was even after Ashton joined the band because that was Ashton's bass. Oh, that was Ashton's. I didn't yeah. even have a bass. You didn't have. Yeah. One. How did you get? Didn't didn't we borrow one from school? I think we stole a guitar from school. Yeah. And we were just using it to play the bass notes. Yeah. Emma. Yeah. What? You're nodding. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds, like a, <laughs> Sounds like a good story. Yeah, yeah. I still have the guitar. I love the one that you stole again. Yeah. The villain cool. adding thievery. <laughs> yeah, this this villain origin story is really coming to life. Um, and then after we got together, we realized okay, we really need a drummer uh, <laughs> more than we needed one before. <laughs> now that we have a gig booked, we definitely need one. And um, I think for some reason Ashton was like a. Local, like, local legend. He was like a name, a name <laughs> that Honestly floated was. around was, between, yeah. like, when it came to, to drumming, um, in our area. It was, so it's it was clear, drumming or drumming, drumming, drummers <laughs> need you. Yeah, it was <laughs> want bands now. It was, <laughs> it was very much a a, 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 a legendary tale of this Ashton Irwin, and uh, you know, I reached out, um. On to Facebook, I reached out to find him. Um, oh, the thanks, the Mark. best, the best place that I that I knew, um, which had liv- led me to so many other fruitful endeavors, uh, that was Facebook. And I I sent a message, and it would be nice to pull the message up right now. It said, "I remember I sent it to you a few years ago." I remember exactly what you said. You said, "What's up? Um, heard about you through my mate Chris." Yeah. Um, Chris and, went to our school. Game. And. Um, Mike Mike says, "Hey, there's probably going to be about 200 people at our first gig. It's gonna be fucking be, massive. It'd be a pleasure to play with you. There's no guaranteed spot in the band, but you know we're doing a rehearsal. Did this you Thursday. already say there's no guaranteed spot in the band? Yeah, yeah I made it. I made it clear, bro. Wow, well, I you? didn't want to be like no, hey, because at this point in time it was a trio. Yeah, and I and mm. we didn't we'd never met him, and I was essentially sessioning. Yeah, <laughs> which was cool with me. Interesting. <laughs> so I had a car and stuff, and I was I was just trying to get gigs at the time. I didn't have a car yet, actually. I, I remember you replied and you said, "Hey, bro, sounds good. I got nothing better to do." Yeah, that was <laughs> that right, was that's all fine. That's, that's okay. literally what you would say now if someone asked you that same question. <laughs> I still say that when people ask me to play drums. I say I got nothing better to do. I'd love to, and and I'm still. I mean, you know. Anyways, so I show up at rehearsal. I meet Callum for the first time. Uh, there's an electric drum kit. I'm sweating balls. It's Australia. It's so hot. And I rode my bike from Richmond to <laughs> Quakers Hill. <laughs> um, which, which, so to put in perspective, is, is a big ride. <laughs> I may as well have been training for the Tour de France. <laughs> but, um, and I showed up and parked my Huffy in the driveway. I had some drumsticks with me, like a true legend. Mm-hmm. Of course. I was wearing my purple shirt, which you all then went on to traumatize me. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine... I was poor, it was poor... I was poor as shit. Imagine... I could only afford two t-shirts. Imagine... you all tease me about A nice, that. thin, cotton, purple shirt that's with a really, really deep V-neck. Yeah. Oh. Deep V. Jersey like Shore V. what Barney would wear on his off day, you know? <laughs> Who's Barney? Like, Barney... Barney the dinosaur. Right. So you're still teasing me. That's great. <laughs> um... So I get, walk in and they have an electric drum kit and we're in Mike's granny <laughs> flat and he pr- proceeds to tell me how to play drums. I was like, hey bro, so <laughs> hey, bro. the songs that we're playing, they're going to sound something like this. Um, and I remember you definitely smiling and nodding. You were like, mm-hmm, sounds good. Yeah, You're as like, a good session guy does. <laughs> like, great man. <laughs> and I met Callum for the, f- no, Callum didn't show up again. Um, he wasn't there. I think I had soccer practice. Soccer practice. Callum like. was, yeah, splitting his worlds. But So we did this rehearsal. We played Gotta Get Out. Mm-hmm. Which was the song our, that which was on our first EP, <laughs> and I was like, "Where is this Brian Wilson esque guy?" <laughs> he's like, yeah, "Wow, well, writing, very mysterious." He's writing all these songs for the band, but he doesn't show up for the gigs. Yeah, and... no, that wasn't my world. <laughs> and we learned <laughs> "Hot and Cold" by Katy Perry, but we added a metal breakdown because we were aware of our audience. Yeah, we, we were aware we... that we were playing a hardcore meetup with other heavy bands that do breakdowns. Yep. And mm. we knew we needed some monstrous energy involved, so yep. we chose Katy Perry. <laughs> yep, that's, what the you fuck? Know, <laughs> totally great pick. And then we did an amazing cover of uh, Rolling in the Deep by yep. Adele. Um, 
which was firing, which was really going off, uh, you know, and the crowd was loving it. Um, <laughs> nobody, nobody realized I was playing in a completely different key, but which was kind of psychedelic. Exactly, it added like a cool, yeah, like a nice little friction, bit of tension. Wait, yeah. so, so now we come to December third. I remember. I feel like I remember something when Callum maybe wasn't even there. So this is probably part of the villain story as well. He, after Ashton left the first rehearsal, me, I remember. I don't remember much, but I remember he comes to me going like, "What do you think?" <laughs> I, I do, <laughs> and I said, "I think he's sick." I After, think... the, uh, and we only did about two rehearsals, I think. Yeah, and I'm, but I'm, I feel like we knew, we knew straight away. We we're like, "Oh yeah, this is the guy." Yeah, the guy I know. Sure. I remember. I was like, "What do you think? Could he? Could he be in the band?" <laughs> and uh, and I remember you being like, "Yeah, he could," but. He has to meet Callum first. That was what you said. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thanks. Man. Hey, that's good. I got sweaty hands. Really did. Yeah. Um, and then and, and he didn't know your shit because you don't turn up. <laughs> you don't even show up yet. Yeah. yeah well, well, I did have something better to do. Yeah. At, that's very, play soccer. That's very yeah. funny. Yeah. Much then, more promising. And then, that then point, I said to, to and then I said to Luke, anyway, you want to play guitar here? <laughs> and we're like, yeah. We and fucking shredded did. it. Which was kind of <laughs> which was kind of the band's main hustle until about four years ago. Yeah, guitar oh, hero. Right. Guitar <laughs> hero. <week. laughs> yeah. Incredibly recent. Getting good at to easy. To be fair, in the beginning, oh, well, I guess that's more of a 2012 thing. But yeah, like, we'll hold up. Yeah, for a yeah, yeah. So we're still in 2011. Now we play this gig on December 3rd at this pub, and it's a not a soup. I guess it's a pretty well-known pub for breaking smaller bands. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was part of the Sydney scene, and that was our first time ever we kind of played in an official venue. And I showed up. Um, I went with your mum. We drove together. Ooh. I think we carpooled. No, we I, carpooled. Yeah, I, and, I, and I drove with you too. And <laughs> I think it's important to know that Luke's mum was was Ashton's math teacher. Oh my god! At his school. Yeah. Um, so it was weird hanging out with Liz outside of school hours. <laughs> yeah. But, that's um, that's fucking crazy. But I was also happy Liz was observing my side hustle. That's yeah. that's nice. <laughs> Why are you tired at school, Ash? Well, you're a part of my other life as well. Well, now you know. <laughs> now you was know. she te- was she teaching you be- like? The year of that gig, or is the year before, the year before, mm-hmm. and that's I didn't, I'd never met you. I don't know how we didn't meet. Yeah, playing the same pubs. Um, but then we played the show, and then, uh, yeah, y'all asked me to join the band. He asked me to join. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I so think I literally got down on one knee. You did. You did. So, so we 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 get to the gig, and uh, you know, uh, we were in the the I'm not even going to call it backstage because it was just a room. Um. And I remember we were back there and we, we would be like, how many people are here? What's what's going on out there? Mm-hmm. And all of our parents were there. I think most of them were there. And I think I remember Liz being like, there's not too many yet. And we're like, oh, okay. You oh, know. She's just so brutally our honest. Parents oh. were, our parents were really brutal about it. Yeah. yeah. Is anyone there? Not a soul. <laughs> <laughs> not a soul, they'd say. Why yeah. are you doing this? This is a yeah. waste of time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh and then God. and then the support band goes on and we're like, wow, they must be playing to such a massive audience. How many people are out there? <laughs> Um, you know, I can't believe we have a support band. This is amazing. This is my dream. And uh, they go, all right, guys, there's maybe about eight or nine people. Um, and we're like, oh, okay. Thousand? <laughs> <laughs> eight or nine hundred? Uh, where's, where are we at with that? And then, anyway, and then we go on stage um, to a very, very solid crowd of 12 people. Um, but they were keen. By God, they they really made us feel so comfortable. Yeah. You know, they really did. They were really keen. They were ready to get involved in whatever we threw at them. In whatever it was. Yeah. We what had we, no idea what was What did we on. open with? Did we, did we have a set list? Yeah, we played four songs. That's a pretty short set, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck That's no, a hard, we drive we, a hard bargain, we, don't we? we? Didn't we <laughs> no, we had, a, we had a full like acoustic part as well. We did do uh, an The acoustic, acoustic thing was our main thing in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. we were like, we got to have an acoustic... Yeah. Break, yeah, yeah. Um, we would treat the acoustic part as the main part, and the uh, the electric part was like just like the addition. We're trying this out. Yeah, it was kind of like <laughs> it was kind of like when Bob Dylan started using electric guitars yeah. sparsely, and everyone was like, <laughs> "It's actually yeah." <laughs> we were like, Ro- we like, we don't know if it's very good. Thing. Yeah, that's, that's how we're compared. And it looks like on here, it took us two weeks to get a cover in the bag with a drummer. Um, after the show, yeah, and and. So yeah, so the the gig, the gig ended and it was great, and then we went outside to take pictures with the people who were there. Um, mm-hmm. Thousands, 
Which and there was <laughs> thousands of them. I think they dwindled by that point as well, and there were maybe seven by that point. It's a hard gig to get to, Annandale. No buses. It's not easy. No public transport. Yeah. Not That's easy. That's probably what it was. On a really busy so. road. And then, and then we get out there, and then, you know, we, we look at Ashton, and we said, wow, this gig <laughs> went so well. Um, yeah. You're great. We're great. <laughs> <laughs> we really sold it. Really sold it, you know. Like, do you want this opportunity, man? No, we didn't, actually. Callum got down on one yeah. in the in, in the street and said, Ashton, will you join the band? Yeah. And I said, yes, I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I may as well. I I actually, have, oh, sorry, you go. No, you go. I don't want to I'll add to go. the yeah. story. No, you go. Uh, yeah. Um, so. The, <clears throat> yep, you're going to. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's a good joke. It's a good bit, Cal. Yeah, no, <laughs> so. The guy with the blonde hair that opened for us, I can't. For the life of me, remember his name, but I remember him coming up to, or messaging, or coming up after, because I remember we were trying to be like Green Day and Blink and like you know all those bands and be like a rock band, and we had the acoustic thing. We knew we had to do that mm-hmm. for a, a while to get to the electric thing. And I remember him coming up to me after and being like, "You guys should maybe just stick to the acoustic thing." It's like insinuating that the electric yeah. part was really bad. Really bad. But we knew that. To be fair, he probably was right. No, yeah. no he probably sucked. Pro- he definitely was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, and that's, you know. Bit of a shitty thing to say to 14 year olds, though, isn't definitely, it? <laughs> definitely a fucking way to really <laughs> shut a bunch of kids down, you know? <laughs> anyway. And then we ripped this teenage dirtbag cover in your living room around Christmas around, time. Around the Christmas tree. Mate, the marketing was already there. And, and Ashton came with. Something that would go on to live in <laughs> in legends. Um, yeah. Do you want to talk about the con? <laughs> no, man. It seems like you have a good, uh, <laughs> so good stance I, on it. I think uh, I think he really brought it to the mainstream audience. Um, and to be fair, quite a versatile little thing mm. that con is. It, d- it became a fucking staple for years to come. Yeah, years to come, and then yep. going going forwards in years. I remember we'd show up to radio stations and stuff, and then. Ashton and have this and you know to explain what it is it's, it's a box and when you hit the top it it makes a higher pitch noise and then you hit yep. the bottom and it makes a lower pitch noise, noise. Yeah. really really uh so yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> insinuating kick and snare <laughs> yes yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. insinuating and yes. for yes. years yeah. to come we would go we would walk into uh walk into radio stations and they'd be like oh Ashton you're sitting on a box <laughs> 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 for years and years but you know what it's kind of fucking legendary Kind of was a was a good fucking like whatever man. Yeah. <laughs> I whatever. think it was dope. I feel like I feel like we're moving at such high speeds. It only warranted a box. Right? Are you gonna bring a whole kit into? No, no you no, want to chuck not. that thing? In a they fucking, wouldn't let me. You want to chuck that? But they thing also the wouldn't the let me not show up at acoustic gigs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. They were like, we need all four of you. Oh my god! Yeah, if we can get a big montage every time Ashton's ever hit a cajon. But 2011 cajon. was really exciting. It was really exciting year for us. It was, and it, and it was like a, a year of, of us just figuring it out, you know? Mm. And when, when you start doing that stuff as, as, like, so young, you really do just need it. Like, we needed it to work, and we, we just... Yeah, and we were always receptive to whatever came our way. We didn't judge it. We just used things as good opportunities. Yeah. So we, you know, I, I thought it was cool how you guys let me kind of do this first cover with you. Because it really did change really quick, and you guys were very adaptive, which was great. And you understood the the steps to build a band, which was totally you know, no one tells you how to do it. You just f- figure and it out. And you guys felt it out, and and you found a somebody that fit. Yeah, and I think when you joined, that was when we actually realized, oh shit, okay, let's let's try this properly. Yeah, you know what I mean, let's stop but fucking around. But you didn't really know me very well. You didn't need to. No, but you know, but I my whole motivations already were lined up with y'all. Exactly. I wanted to be in a band. Yeah. That I'd already been in about seven. Yeah. And <laughs> I was like doing that thing, so I was comfortable with it. But I I had already. It was lucky that I had become frustrated with the um, non-action. Right. In other bands, mm. so by the time I made it to y'all, I was like, "This has to be it." We were like, let's... This has to be the band that actually is going to work. Yeah, no, know? that's interesting, actually, because we... It was our first... Like, we've been, like, a, you know, around a little bit. But, mm-hmm. like, you'd actually been in... I didn't think about it like that. You've been in lots of bands and with people that are probably, you know, like us when you met us, like, kind of... Yeah. You know, could do stuff that, you know, we're kind of dicking about a little bit. Yeah. And you're like, you know, this you know, this is something special. You, yeah. Because you, you definitely knew there was something special about it, but... Well, I'd been in bad bands. Yeah. I mean, not yet. Y'all were a good band. 
<clears throat> to some extent. Uh, I think that's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> 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 To some extent. In some areas, we were okay. Yeah, I mean, December 16th. I mean, really, that's like, that's where we had the perception of like us as a group. Yeah. That was like the first time where people were like, oh, okay, this is an actual thing. This like is, there's this four is of them band. now and it's starting. Yeah. yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. And and we, by God, we ripped Teenage Dirtbag. And you know what? Just out of my memory, shout out to Norway and Sweden. Yep. On the internet, <laughs> you guys were holding it down the oh, most. Sweden <laughs> was, weren't they? Out of all of it. I and remember, that, and yeah. I remember those stats gave us meaning to like keep doing it more because it was like, we oh, people are actually... We looked at the YouTube analytics yeah. and it was like majority Sweden, Norway. And that was when we had the idea of like, well, if people overseas are seeing this, then let's like keep trying. We wanted to be a touring yeah. band. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that was like a clear indication that we could go elsewhere. Yeah, because yeah, mm. that was the time where so many people were doing like YouTube things, and we some I don't know how, but like because we like you're right, we wanted to be like a live band, and like we wanted to play shows, and because we had like Facebook and on the last gig and being like, oh, you know, this many people are coming, mm-hmm. but then only twelve showed up, or like, well, all these other YouTube people never can, well, not never, but. I find it really hard to get a live following. So we knew like, that's what we want to do. We want to have people come to the show because we knew what it felt like having people not come to the show. So how do we like, Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Uh, yeah, that's true. But it was because we did the acoustic stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, you know, really warranted us to actually have time to grow behind the scenes, you know, definitely. And that's 2011, 2011 baby. And then what'd you guys (laughs) get for Christmas that year? What did we get for Christmas? I think I got another guitar. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think that was when I got my Gibbs, Gibson Les Paul custom, which oh, we'll get to yeah, that. We'll, we'll, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we'll talk about oh, that. Oh, no. The first band fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Cut. 